What's going on miners and welcome back to the channel. Just a few weeks ago, NiceHash released their own Bitcoin ASIC miner firmware. And I have a lot of questions. There's a lot of different competitors out there and I'm a huge fan of NiceHash. Not only do I run all my Bitcoin miners on there, when the time comes, I always swap over my altcoin miners to NiceHash because they are significantly more profitable on NiceHash overall. But with this new firmware that has come out, I'm very curious on, will I find that my Bitcoin miners are more efficient? Are we getting more hash rate for less watts? And lots of other questions, like what other features are built into their software? And finally, my biggest one, has NiceHash made it easy to deploy? A lot of other companies out there right now have something called a toolbox, which is a software that you can install on a local PC and just push out the firmware to any of those miners on the network. It's become so easy. Gone are the days of flashing the memory or using an SD card. The toolbox is a great feature to have. So let's head over to our ASIC mining shed and take a look at the brand new NiceHash firmware. All right, we are over here at my electrician's house where we have built our ASIC mining shed here. Quick little swing tour before we jump in. We have a full intake wall on the side little weather xm unit there and on the left hand side is our full dedicated exhaust we have individual exhaust ducts for each of our asic miners currently running we just got this up um, i don't know about a month back it's a with a full 400 amp dedicated commercial service so let's step inside i'll introduce you to our friends in here what we got running so here are our asic miners all individual um, intakes, shroud systems, and inline fans. We got a little more room at the hotel here on the bottom. Our PDUs are on the back side. We have our network up top with our electrical over here, two 200 amp panels, a workbench in the middle here. Workbench has two 30 amp 240 volts and a PC for working on equipment while we're here. Here's our intake wall on this side and a quick little swing tour up top. And that's my whole MTV Cribs. <laughs> so anyways, let me go over what ASICs we have in here and then we're gonna get into deploying the NiceHash firmware and doing some testing and comparisons. So these two ASICs here are my electricians. This is his property. He has an S19K Pro as well as a KS2. Nothing wrong with it. I'm actually just starting to work on it, adding in the pivotal pleb board and stuff like that. Uh, over here, we have another S19K Pro. We have another KS2, Ice River, Caspa. We then have the KA3, Cadena. We have the K7, which is on CKB there. Got this from Mr. DJ Mines. We have another K7. We have an L7, script mining. And this is actually, most of these actually are on NiceHash. I'll show you in a minute, uh, except for the Caspa miners down here. And then we have the E9 Pro, Ethereum Classic. Down here, we have the brand new S21 Pro. We just got this set up the other day. We have the Alphapex DG1 Plus script mining on NiceHash, doing really well. We have the What's Miner M60 on NiceHash, Bitcoin mining. We have another S19K Pro. This is gonna be one of our test guinea pigs today. We have the brand new DR7 that just came out. I don't recommend buying that just because of how quickly the profitability has gone to zero and our brand new Ice River KS5L. So, we are talking about the NiceHash brand new firmware that just came out recently. And we're gonna do a test. We have this guy right here, an S19K Pro, 120 terahash. We do have it on high mining mode, so it does about, what, 137 terahash there. And then we have a whole nother model down here, another S19K Pro as well. So let's jump over to the computer. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more about this new firmware, how to deploy it, and then we're gonna compare a Bitmain version 
versus the nice hash firmware version. Which one is more efficient? All right, so we're over here on the computer. We have 20 miners on nice hash currently right now. As we talked about, K7s, S19K Pros, DG1 Plus. That's doing really well right now on nice hash. $23.66 a day on average, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, outside of that, we have, let's see here, other miners, the KA3 I actually have on there, the L7, the S21, the What's Miner, all listed in there. So I'm a huge fan of nice hash. If you go over, so this was posted back on June 14th, so a little over a month ago. NiceHash firmware powered by Mara. They went ahead and partnered with them to release their own firmware. I'll put a link to this if you guys are interested. It's got a screenshot, but more importantly, it has install instructions. So if we bring that up, it's actually really easy. They, NiceHash has done a great job of making this very simple. You go to their download center and you pretty much download the software install it, bring up their toolbox, and then deploy it. So their download center right over here, nice hash firmware, and you just click download and off you go. So what I have done is I have downloaded the nice hash software. We're gonna go ahead and load it up. And there's just this nice hash tools with the icon. We're gonna go ahead and launch that. And that is going to launch NiceHash's toolbox. So happy to see that they have made this process so simple. The nice thing about the toolbox is not only is it a deployment tool, but it also can be used for monitoring and uh, dashboarding your miners, which is great. So in the upper left-hand corner, I'm gonna delete my network and I'm gonna re-add it. So when you come in here, all you do is put in your network. So my network ranges from 192.168 to 86.1 up to 86.254. So we're gonna go ahead and scan our network with the scan button up top. And look at that, it's come up with all my miners on my network right now. It's actually still going through scanning, but they came up very quickly. And you can see all the ASIC miners that I do have running in the shed right now. Quite a few, a variety coming up at the current moment. So I do have one number 58 IP address that is on the new software firmware. You can see it says Mara FW. And then we do have our other one, which is 98, which is on the stock Bitmain firmware. So what I wanna do is I wanna compare which one is more efficient. Is it going to be the NiceHash firmware version S19K Pro? focused on the same hash rate of that 137, maybe it's 139, the 139, or is Bitmain's gonna be just as good, if not better? So to deploy this, all we need to do is select our miner from the IP address there, and then go up to choose for firmware, and inside of this folder, what we're gonna find is a zip file. Nice hash install update and update and restore and you just click firmware update and it will deploy the nice hash firmware directly to that miner in a matter of minutes. And take a look. We have this great nice hash firmware here. I love the dark theme. Way to go nice hash team. We have our temperature of our miner. We have our efficiency. We have let's see fan speed uptime, hash rate, I love it. Down below here, take a look at our hash boards. We have each of our hash boards up and running. Each of them is about average about 46.7 for our hash rate there. Our fans are set to 100% using the uh, Pivotal Plebs, so that's why you see them at zero here in that regard, and then some of our pool data directly down below. Up top here, they made it easy. They have their IP address right there and easily available. You can see what control board is in here too. And then there's actually an info tab. Kind of gives you a higher level, but the nice thing is you can see your serial number in here as well as the additional data that we just went over. MAC address. So then when you go to configure, they made it really easy. Here's where you go ahead and populate in your pool information, just like you would any other normal ASIC. However, this is where we start to get into the stuff that I really love. Our operating mode, 
They have a number of different operating modes in here. Automatic tuning, fixed frequency, stock hash rate, and sleep mode. I set it to automatic tuning, and I set it to the target uh, of 137 terahash, which is very similar to what you get, almost identical to what you get with the Bitmain uh, stock firmware on high mode with the S19K Pros. Does show your hashboard model, which is nice. And your environmental profile is convenient because you can come down here, air cooling, hydro, single phase immersion, or two phase immersion. So it's kind of nice that they've gotten that granular. And then they do have some additional information down here, as well as override fan control in here too, which is really, really nice. They have your log, which is pretty, you know, pretty traditional. Well done, glad to see that easily accessible. Network information and upgrade if you wanna go ahead and upgrade the firmware at any given time. So, this unit right now, we're at 140 terahash and that is on our test S19K Pro. If we come up, our stock Bitmain separate one is at 139 to uh, with 138 average. So it's right there within, within one to two terahash, not even. So now my big question, which one is more efficient? Has NiceHash done a phenomenal job of auto-tuning these or is there still some desire for improvement? So let's go over and take a look. So up top here is number 98. 98 is our stock S19K Pro running with the Bitmain firmware. Now we're talking without the fan. You see I don't have any high RPM fans on it. So it's doing 3,500 and 97 watts without the high RPM fans. Our inline fans are on a whole separate individual uh, breaker here, a 15 amp with our surge protector here. This guy is number 58 and this is our nice hash guinea pig. Same setup identically, same exact fan, same exact filter, same shroud system. What is it doing? four watts. Well, when we take a look up top here, 3,210 watts. So we're saving right around, it looks like about 300 to a little bit more watts going with the nice hash firmware than the stock Bitmain firmware. Heck yeah, way to go nice hash. Uh, that was like, that's like my first checkbox. All the features, all the benefits are great, but we need to see the nice hash ASIC performing better from an efficiency perspective than the Bitmain, and nice hash has absolutely achieved that. All right, guys, down below, I'm going to leave this guide how to install nice hash firmware. It's only like five steps total to get you off and running. I am super happy with this. I'm eager to get this deployed more on uh, several more of my Bitcoin miners. Right now, this is only working with the Bitcoin miners. However, I'm hoping in the near future, we see the NiceHash firmware compatible with several other altcoin miners because I'll be honest, Bitcoin's only about half of my ASIC mining shed arsenal. I have several altcoin miners and diversifying is something I always push on the channel. All right, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. What's up guys, sorry to interrupt your video, but wanna keep you in the know. So are you new at mining or you're just looking to get step into it? You're not sure what hardware you wanna buy, you're not sure what build you wanna do, need some help? Maybe you're building your first mining rig and you literally need help step-by-step -step installing HiveOS. Maybe you're so far away from mining, but you're looking at it and you just need somebody to bounce some ideas off of. Well. I offer one-on-one -on -one calls with the community and I've done boatloads, some really cool ones. I've helped people set up ASIC miners in the Dominican Republic. I've helped someone troubleshoot their very first GPU mining rig. I've chatted with a guy looking to open up a farm and just wanted a sounding board. I've helped someone else build and set up and configure their brand new Casper miners. Well, I'm here to help and I'd love to work with you. If you guys need one-on-one -on -one help, I offer it and I love doing it. So 
There's a link directly down below to thehobbyistminer.io. Go over there and schedule some time with me. All right, back to the video.